when you go out at night and look up at the sky, no matter if you are in the bright city or the dark countryside, there is much more than it seems. For every 100 stars you see, astronomers think there might be among the failed dozen stars also known as brown dwarfs who do not. The dividing line between the stars and their freshest cousins? Has been an open question in astronomy for some time, which is mostly in the realm of theory and simulations. At the 230th session of the American Astronomical Meeting in Austin, Texas, a pair of researchers announced that they have an answer based not on computer simulations, but on actual observations. Although brown dwarfs are often known as failed stars, the name is an inappropriate name. These objects were never programmed to be stars in the first place. Stars are born when large bags of gas and coal dust collapse on themselves. But if there is less than the critical amount of gas and dust, the resulting body will not be hot or dense enough to initiate hydrogen fusion. These brown dwarfs are colder than the lowest mass stars we know of but still hot enough to radiate in infrared wavelengths. Even the nearby brown dwarfs are so weak that they were not discovered as class until 1994, and their penumbra continues to be difficult to study. That is why, until recently, only a handful of brown dwarfs had even measured their mass. Trent Depay University of Texas at Austin and Michael Liu University of Hawaii set out to change that.